Hi, I'm Amy McLean with Cable Facts, and I'm here today with Bob Gessner, who is the president of MCTV. Hi, Bob. Hello, Amy. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. So tell me about what's going on at MCTV this year. Well, our, our big project this year is our decision to start a fiber overlay, a fiber to the home project across our entire footprint. And what does that mean for your customers? Well, for the next year or so, probably not a whole lot because we have a lot of backbone to build, a lot of fiber to pull, uh, splices to make, that sort of thing. Um, but when we, are, when we are finished or as we roll it out on a neighborhood by neighborhood basis, it means faster internet speeds, synchronous internet, and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge of creating a true full IPTV solution instead of the Qualm RF solution that we're using now. And how does that affect, again, your customers and their bills and what they're getting in their home? Do you, and and when, as you're working on all this, are you explaining it to them? We will. We're, we're really in the very early stages. We've only built uh, a couple hundred miles out of 1,400 miles, and we're just starting to put our first customers online. Um, our goal is that the, the, the monthly fees for uh, fiber-based will be the same as uh, QAM-based. Mm -hmm. I think where the, the interesting difference might come in is when we get to IPTV, because we're now considering a bring-your-own-box instead of us providing set-top boxes. Let them choose their own. Um, you're in Washington this week for the ACA Summit, and there's a new administration and a new Congress. What does that mean for you as you're walking around Capitol Hill? I think like most Americans right now, it's a big question for us. Um, certainly it's a, it's a change, and the, the theme of our summit is, navigate, is uh, navigating the, the seas of change, and there, it certainly is a big change. A new FCC, a new executive in the White House, uh, both houses of Congress being under Republican uh, control means new and different opportunities. Right now, we still have to try to figure out what those opportunities are. But ACA has a, a, a very strong, well-developed platform, and we have certain things that we'll uh, advocate for. And some of that probably still being decided at this point, or um, I think our advocacy goals are 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 pretty well developed. Uh, our main thrust is broadband. We recognize that everybody seems to be in favor of expanding broadband, especially into the rural and smaller markets that we serve. And we certainly stand ready to to help the FCC, the Congress, or the uh, Trump administration achieve those goals and we think we're we're best suited to do that we work in those markets now uh, private capital instead of government dollars so we, we think that's that's our I mean, that's going to be our uh, our sweet spot this mm -hmm. year well the digital divide is definitely a huge subject um, in Washington these days is there anything that you feel like MCTV is doing in that regard well it, actually the first two major uh, construction projects as part of our fiber to the home was into new unbuilt areas. Uh, we built uh, 40, 50 miles of plant to homes that had dial-up, no cable service, so they were using cell phones uh, for their internet. And you know, we, we built out there first, and now they have the fastest speeds in the counties. And uh, that's, I guess, our first effort there. Mm -hmm. One of the things I have found interesting about MCTV, a few years ago I heard you talking about your proactiveness. When you saw something weird on a customer's network, you know, maybe they have a virus or something that's using up maybe someone sharing their modem that they don't know about. Um, and, and you sort of instituted this policy where you went to them first. Is that something mm -hmm. you're still doing or has that already paid off enough that it's been, those issues have been fixed? Oh no, we, we, proactive maintenance is really the key to freeing up employees so they can do other things like build and splice our fiber network. Uh, we, st we still do that. Every morning there is a team of, of men who examine the, the telemetry data we received overnight and they hand out maps and they'll tell somebody, go here and look for squirrel chews. Uh, mm -hmm. Go knock on somebody's door and tell them they have a problem in their basement that, that we're going to fix. Um, we, we track, I track uh, service calls every month and about 40% of the calls we run are actually self-imposed, where we have decided we're going to that house or that neighborhood to fix something that's not quite right. 
And as a result, our inbound phone calls are much lower than they ever were. Our truck rolls are lower than they ever were. And the work that we're doing to repair these problems is done during normal working hours, daylight, plenty of support. It, it's, it's a terrific uh, testament to the efforts of our guys to keep up with those uh, difficult maintenance problems. Awesome. And I think my last question is a real toughie. For those who don't live in the MCTV market, can you tell them who Scuppers is? Oh, Scuppers the cable dog. <laughs> yes. Uh, a few years ago, we started using our family pet as, uh, as our spokes dog, and people just love her. To the, in fact, two days ago, I was out walking her car stopped about 10 yards ahead of me this woman jumped out of her car and came running back and said oh i just have to come and say hello to scuppers so we had a conversation there in the middle of the street and uh yeah it's a good conversation starter scuppers is a, a, a fun dog